Hello, I'm back with a new video finally after a while. So, today's video will be about the new update of HI Pain. So, if you didn't know about HI Pain yet, you might want to watch my previous video about this app where I talk about it. So, there is an update, a new update for this app. So, you can just update the application or install the new latest version of HI Pain on google play store itself and the latest version is actually version 4.20 version so to be honest actually there wasn't a big new update for this version but there is like few changes like few good changes i would say where it finally allows the user ask the user to record the time lapse or in other words the speed pen of our drawings so this wasn't here before but now it's finally here and basically a very important features in any drawing apps and here's some drawings i made okay this is a bear so basically you can see the time lapse option by tapping on the three dots we'll see a playback option so you just click on that and you will see a time lapse the speed pan of your drawings and you can adjust the duration of your time lapses of drawing uh, just for you to know this is like automated recordings where once you open a new canvas it will just automatically record the time lapse itself um so this is the second obvious update that i saw which is on the sketch setting you can see there's like a new layout and it finally finally support s pen okay as you can see s pen have like these buttons on here where on a fit pen there you can interchange from eraser and brushes when you click on the button and finally it is that feature is also supported on hi pen i was talking about these features earlier back then on the previous video and there's also like keyboard support so you can like set shortcuts and everything if you want to like use keyboards external keyboards um yeah i think this is a really 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 good update so congrats to developers of hi pen okay so moving forward with the video i'm just gonna like talk a little bit about the comments and everything on my previous video of hi pain which is the very first time i ever reviewed this app on my channel so the latest comment says this app sucks and it's full of ads mm -hmm. i never actually encountered any advertisement or any ads while using this app since the very first time i installed it till now so i don't know which application you install but i'm sure it's not hi pain okay moving on to the next comment which says is it better than infinite panther can it import procreate brushes so this is like a very common question that people ask whenever i like do a review of digital drawing app as you know if you've been here for a while or if you're new here just to let you know that i've used many dr digital drawing app and one of it is like infinite panther i start using infinite panther because we have like a little bit issue with the huyon sketch and then i start learning about infinite panther and it's been like a man drawing app for me okay if i could like compare hi pen and infinite panther both of these have like the pros and cons which is infinite panther you have to pay for like a one-time subscription one-time plan purchase subscription plan yeah yeah and those payment was like to unlock the brushes and everything but when it comes to hi pain it is completely free so if you don't want to like spend any money you might want to go for a hi pen and also hi pen can animate on it with the animation features while these uh, these animation features are not available on infinite panther so infinite panther developers be alert you should should shoot at these features on your application just to step up your you know competitiveness you know 
But of course, when it comes to HI Pen, it is still like a newly developed application. So there's probably like some bugs and issues. Like I've encountered, like I can see the brushes are not really as good as the one on Infinite Painter. Yeah, that. But the brushes on Infinite Painter are like top tier. So all in all, actually, it's up to you. It's Infinite Panther or HI Pen, it's up to the individual itself. So the second question to this comment was, can it import Procreate brushes? I wanna say that I've tried to import Procreate brushes on the internet that is free to this HI Pen, but I have counter like difficulties to do it. I don't really know what to do, how to do it. I've searched it on like Google and YouTube but there's none tutorial about importing brushes to HIP so I don't I cannot really answer this question sorry for that okay, so this is the last last comment we will talk about which is the app is good but I don't understand how to see the process in other application you can see the process of work okay he or she is talking about the time lapses if you update to the latest version or install to install the latest version of HI pen that is available on google play store you will see and i've like mentioned it earlier in the video that it finally supports the time lapses so you can finally see the process of your drawing like from the scratch to the end so yeah a really really good update i would say again so yeah that's it for the like comment section and everything let me know if you have any question on the comment section of this video of course and let me know if you have like any recommendation or any things any apps you want me to try let me know in the comment as well and lastly before ending this video i am actually gonna like teach you guys how to blend colors on hi paint because there's like few people that was asking that in the previous video comment section so yeah stay tuned okay so before ending the video i'm just gonna like reply quickly on the comments where it asked me about how to blend on hi pen so i'm just gonna like make a quick 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 tips and tutorial so first of all obviously pick these two colors any colors you want to plan and click on the like finger icon and you will see you can like actually select any brush that you want to use to blend okay some brushes are not really good in blending and some brushes actually good at blending and here's the brushes that i recommend which is the medium a brush okay anything that says a brush you might want to try like consider it to use it when you want to blend colors okay and yeah that's basically just keep on dragging and a brushing the colors together until you're actually fully satisfied with the blend thing okay i don't really blend colors but if i were like to blend colors for my art this is what and how i will do it just like keep going and keep blending the colors until i'm fully satisfied and this is what i came came out with after blending the two colors i think it turns out pretty good so yeah that's probably it about this video so i will see you again in the next video do comments and give any recommendation for upcoming videos thanks for watching bye